Hi boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Riolo and today we're going to read a book about reading, one of my favorite things to do. Before we read, we're going to review three words that we're going to see in our book today. So the first word is the word like. Read this word with me. Like. Good. This word, like, is one of our high frequency words. So this is a word that you're going to see a lot in your reading. I'm going to play a little game of mix and fix with you. So I'm going to mix it up and you're going to help me put it back together. So how do I make the word like? What, let, what order do I put my letters in? L, what comes next? I, K, E, let's read the word like. Good. We're going to look at another word today. And the word is two. Two. T O two. Let's read this. Two. Two is an easy one to mix and fix because there's only two letters. What's the first letter? T. What's the second letter? O. Let's read it. Two. Good. And the last word that we're going to look at today is the word my. And the tricky part in the word my is the Y, because sometimes kids think it's an I. But this Y on the end says the long I sound. So the word is my. Let's read it, my. Let's mix it up and fix it. M, Y, what's the word? My, my. good. So I'm gonna make our words and then we're gonna practice reading them. What's the word? Two. Good job. What's the word? My. And what's our very last word? Like. Great job. We're going to see all of those words today in our book about reading. So as you can guess, we're going to be reading about different things that this boy likes to, or in this about, in this book, we're going to be reading about different places that this boy likes to read and different things that this boy likes to, who, different things this boy likes to read to. The book is called I Like to Read, and it's written by Michelle Dufresne, and this is published by Pioneer Valley Books, and they've given us the rights to read their books until the end of June. So you may read this book as many times as you want until then. Let's do a little picture walk. So we know that good readers use strategies and those strategies help us learn to read. So one strategy that readers can use is using the pictures to help them figure out tricky words. So when we look at the pictures, then we look at the words, we can put the sounds together with the pictures and we can figure out those tricky words. Before we look at further though, I want to see if you can find our word one of our words that we practiced today, the word like. Can you find the word like on this page? Good, the word is like. Can you find our other word that we practiced today, the word two? Can you find the word two? Good, the word is right here. So what is this boy doing in this picture? He's reading, very good. Let's look on. So now this boy is reading, but he's reading with somebody else, and that somebody else is his friend. So let's look at for the word friend on this page. The word friend starts with the letter f, f fur. So we're looking for fr. Let's look right here. Friend. We want to read all the way through our words. Friend. So now he's reading with a friend. Let's look here. Who is he reading with now? This is a stuffed animal. What is this? It's a dinosaur. So let's look over here and find the word dinosaur. Dinosaur. There it is. Can you also find our other word that we made to this morning? And the word is my. Can you find that word my? Good. The word is right here. Let's see what else this boy likes to read to or who else he likes to read to. He likes to read to his teacher. So this here is his teacher, teacher. 
And then let's look here. So in this page, he's got a teddy bear. Teddy bear. So there's two words, teddy bear. So let's look up here. Teddy bear. And on this page, he's reading to a stuffed dog. D -o -g dog. And on the last page, he's reading by himself. So as we read today, I want you to use your finger to point to the words, and I'm gonna be using my computer cursor to point, and I want you to read along with me, and don't forget that good readers use the picture and the letter sounds to help them figure out those tricky words. I Like to Read by Michelle Dufresne. And here's our title page, I Like to read. All right. I like to read. Good. Look at the picture. Do you remember who he's reading to? I like to read to my friend. Look at the picture. I like to read to my dinosaur. Remember who that is? That's his t -t teacher. I like to read to my teacher. Do you remember who this is? I like to read to my teddy bear. I like to read to my dog. I like to read. So on this last page, the author uses an exclamation mark right here to tell us, the reader, how much this boy likes to read. There's an exclamation mark there to make us understand that he's excited about reading. He really likes to read. Can you think about all of the people or things that this boy liked to read to? See if you can think of three people or things that this like boy liked to read to. Good. So if we remember, he liked to read to his friend, his dinosaur, his teacher, his teddy bear, his dog, and himself. Good. All right, readers, I challenge you to go back and read this book. Turn the volume off if you can and practice reading to yourself or somebody else that's sitting next to you. We'll see you next time. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.